Wow, this is great. I'm happily developing front-end apps on AWS. Life is good. Look at how fast I'm building all these apps without IT and security looking over my shoulder. So glad we went cloud first on everything. This couldn't be any better, faster, and less supervised. <laughs> All this talk and excitement about Cloud First is funny to me. Somebody back here is still managing all of the applications that run the company business on aging infrastructure. Sure, we tried to migrate a couple of these apps natively to the cloud because we couldn't procure the hardware fast enough during the pandemic. It took us one year and we're still not done. More than Cloud First, this looks like Cloud Last to me. Google machine learning is where it's at. I'm having a blast. All clouds are not the same, and I love all this innovation. Google gets developers, they get me. And all these artificial intelligence services help my company and surely look good on my resume. Wait, what are these other goodies over there on Azure? Gotta get some of that too. Holy cow. Keeping up with developers is a big headache. They said, let them innovate. Don't slow them down. But, but how do I train my team on all these different technology stacks? All this is blowing up our cost structure. And I'm still on the hook to manage and secure it all. Oh, great, of course. Now they want a full compliance report across all clouds and to show that we have a consistent security posture. And I don't even know where all this is. Yeah, so much for go all in on the cloud, cloud first, blah, blah, blah. This is complex and costly. This is cloud chaos. Is this scenario familiar to you? These conversations are happening everywhere, fact. 90% or so of our customers are multi-cloud today. And multi-cloud initially was great because it allowed developers to achieve incredible speed and innovation. But over time, multi-cloud environments have become complex and costly because each cloud brings its own way of building, managing, and securing applications across a diverse infrastructure stack. Customers have described the situation to us as cloud chaos but it's just too costly to train your scarce IT resources on all these different technologies. A new approach is required. We need a level of abstraction that unifies how you build, manage, run, and secure applications in the cloud. At VMware, we have created a solution for our customers to solve this very problem that we call VMware Cross Cloud Services, which is a portfolio of cloud-native services that allow our customers to build, manage, run, secure, and access any applications across any cloud in a way that is consistent, whether it's the private cloud, the public cloud, edge, and sovereign clouds. The main pillars of VMware Cross Cloud Services are VMware Tanzu for modern application development, VMware Aria for management across multiple clouds, VMware Cloud to run enterprise workloads anywhere, NSX for security and networking, and Workspace ONE for user access and experience. When customers deploy VMware cross-cloud services to tame the complexity of their multi-cloud environment, they can become what we call cloud smart. And they can leverage whatever cloud fits the needs of their application at a sustainable cost. VMware is not alone in pursuing the simplification of multi-cloud, as there are dozens of great companies out there that have a point solution to solve management or security or uh, user access across multiple clouds. What sets VMware apart is that we believe we are the only company that provides an end-to-end -end platform, a complete approach to solving the problems of multi-cloud. Now, let's go back to our CIO and see what happens since we left them deep into cloud chaos. Hi, Jane. What the heck did you say you used to get us out of multi-cloud chaos again? VMware Cross Cloud Services. Right. You saved my sanity and my career. Not to mention the company a lot of money. How did you do it? Well, we started with modernizing our Houston data center 
And for that, we used the latest version of VMware Cloud Foundation. So that enabled us to run containers on-prem and then put our DR, disaster recovery, in the cloud and then manage everything in the cloud. And then next we looked to Atlanta and we had to exit that data center. So for that project, we chose VMware Cloud. And so with VMware Cloud, we were able to move over 100 applications out of Atlanta into AWS over spring break with no refactoring, no downtime, the same enterprise class environment. Bam! Boom! That's why we didn't have to retrain anybody and we increased automation. And now we can modernize our apps and breathe new life into them. Yep, so then we deployed VMware Tanzu, which enabled us to fit right into the developer's workflow using all the open source projects and the development tools that they love to use. That's important, but our challenge was that we used three different Kubernetes runtimes on AWS, Azure, and on-prem. Well, the nice thing is we use VMware Tanzu for Kubernetes operations, and that supports all Kubernetes distributions. And it still enables us to set all of our security management and cost policies in one place. So now developers have a consistent way to build apps and our operators set policies just once. Bang! And that's how we save all this money on training developers and operators. Brilliant. But what I'm still puzzled about is how do we achieve observability and management across private cloud, VMware cloud, and the hyperscalers? With VMware Aria. Uh, VMware what now? VMware Aria, it's VMware's unified cloud management suite that gives us a single platform for application infrastructure and services management across our entire cloud footprint. It also is really good at controlling cloud spend. We just got a report that showed that we saved over six figures in both Google and AWS. Fantastic. Show me the money. Aria is music to my ears. More simplification, more savings. Well, then we deployed NSX, and that's a full set of software-defined connectivity, security, and capabilities that works consistently across clouds. This means we can deploy workloads automatically and with advanced lateral security so that we can find and evict threat actors using legitimate means before they do any serious damage. Right on. And then finally, with Workspace ONE, we've secured our end users access to all their data, applications, and corporate resources and improved their experience at the same time. Boom, bang. So we are having our cake, eating it too, and losing weight. Oh, and saving money. I love it. Jane, VMware came through for us once again. I can't wait to tell the CEO all about it. VMware is making us look pretty cloud smart right about now. We're gonna get a promotion out of this. You mark my words.